Sir. Some of Oklahoma's most talented artists have taken some antique, unusual, or discarded chairs and tables and added a, a bit of a special touch, as you can see right here. And all of this is to help create healthy communities in vulnerable areas of our city. And joining me now, Janine Pointer, Chief Strategy Officer for the Lynn Institute. Janine, good morning to you. Good morning, how are you? I am doing well, and I love this artwork here. And we want to talk about that here, but first, uh, tell me about the Lynn Institute for Healthcare Research and, and the mission here in the community. Our mission is to create healthy, hopeful communities through uh, providing um, resources and access to healthcare, transportation, food, uh, all of the basic kinds of resources and education and classes that many of us take for granted, but that are sorely lacking in vulnerable and impoverished communities. And to help provide that outreach, you're doing something pretty cool here. You partnered up with uh, the North Gallery and Studios in the recruitment process to get these artists in here. Tell us about what went into that process to get these artists in to create these pieces of art. We did. Uh, the North Gallery was instrumental for us, and they're located in uh, the shops at North Park. And they really, once we explained the project, they embraced it and began to just generate talk amongst artists. And before we knew it, we had um, 26 artists who were willing to take these chairs and tables and turn them into stunning works of art that anyone would want in their home. They're just amazing. And uh, we have people like Bert Seaborn, uh, very noted uh, across the nation. Um, we have Jerry Piper, Janetta uh, Smith, Pat Triplett, um, Dana Tiger, uh, and so just a host of, of really well-known artists in Oklahoma who come around this project. Uh, that Jimi Hendrix chair that popped up there, that looks amazing. I would love Heather that. Henson. <laughs> yes, Heather Henson did a fabulous job on that piece. And um, you know what I love about it is because they're varied artists in the way that they paint and what their uh, mediums are, all of the chairs and the tables are very, very different. And so there's something for everyone. And uh, like I said, they are just stunning. Why chairs and tables? I'm curious about that. Why not any other medium? Why, why is it chairs and tables? You know, uh, it came out of an idea that I had heard about uh, that was in another part of the country. And, you know, sometimes people um, just enjoy having something that is a little bit different. And we had some access early on to some chairs that were antique. For example, Tim Kenny's chair is from the 1800s. It was passed along in a family and we just were happened, we were given access to that through an estate. And so they're very different. The tables are small, so they can fit easily into a home and don't take up wall space, but, but become part of the, the whole decor of a house or an office. And uh, so it was just something different and the artists loved it. They loved being able to capture something on something different than a canvas. Oh, I imagine they had so much fun putting those together there. Mm -hmm. um, so the question a lot of people have in watching this and, and seeing this is how do I bid on, on one of those chairs? How do I get involved in this? Okay. Well, we would love for you to go to our website, which is www.lyninstitute.org. And Lynn is spelled with L-Y-N-N. -N. So if you will go to our website, you can click. Uh, on the, the registration, it will take you to the site to get your name and all of your pertinent information in there and get a bid number and be able to bid. It will also give you uh, a booklet to look at so that you can look up close at some of the art. You know, we wish we could have had a lot of viewing in person and that kind of thing, but with the health crisis, we're just not able to do that. So we're trying to give people opportunity through our Facebook page and on our site to be able to actually look up close at the, the artwork and uh, see if that would be something they're interested in. How much longer is the auction open here? It will open today at four o'clock and it goes until 10 p.m. tonight. And we hope there will be lots and lots of bidders on there. There's something for everyone and there's all different kinds of pricing. So um, don't think because it's art that, um, you know, you can't maybe access that or, or uh, bid on things because we've got things of all different sizes, shapes, and pricing. And um, one thing I do want to say is that during this time, one of the reasons this was so great is we wanted to give a shout out to the artists. You know, so many festivals 
have been canceled. So many ways that they normally demonstrate their capability and their artistry have gone by the wayside. And so this is a way they embrace our project and we want to embrace them and just let everybody know about these incredibly talented Obamans. All right, Janine Pointer with the Lind Institute. Thank you so much for coming on. Hopefully you can get some good bids in there so you guys can continue to help out the community here. Hey, feel free to jump on. Yeah, I, I just might. That Jimi Hendrix chair, I'm telling you. That looks like it looks pretty good in my apartment there. Thank you so much. I think so. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, everyone, 9.51. We are back to wrap up the show after this break.